I did it. It's done. I voted. I, Jake Hilton, voted in 2020, and I unashamedly, openly, happily, unabashedly declare that I voted for Donald J. Trump to remain President of the United States of America and Mike Pence to remain Vice President of the United States of America for the next four years. I have no problem in declaring that. I am happy to declare that. I voted this year and I voted for Donald Trump. But let's take a moment and just step back and stop looking at the individuals. Let's stop looking at the individual known as Donald Trump and the individual Mike Pence, and let's stop looking at the individuals on the left side of the political spectrum. Let's stop looking at Joe Biden and stop looking at Kamala, is her name, apparently. That's the proper pronunciation, as the left is just like so obsessed with properly pronouncing it Kamala Harris. Let's stop looking at the individuals and let's only look at the ideologies. Let's just look at the ideologies espoused by the political right and the ideologies espoused by the political left. Let's only look at the ideologies and based on that and that only, let's come to a decision as to the real reason why. Why? I and why I encourage all of you to vote this year and to vote for the political right, to vote for Donald Trump to remain the president. Let's not look at the individuals because there's plenty of people on both sides of the political spectrum that do not like Donald Trump. Okay? You got the left and they just have a raw, unbridled, foaming at the mouth kind of hatred for Trump, and then there's plenty of people on the political right that also hate and or have a strong dislike for Donald Trump. Let's not look at the individuals. Let's only look at the ideologies, at the morals, principles, values, perspectives of the political right and the political left. You should I strongly, strongly encourage you to vote for the political right because, because when you look at the ideologies, morals, values, and principles espoused by the right and you compare them to the ideologies, morals, principles, values, perspectives in the Word of God, in the Bible, those eternal morals, values, and principles that are established not by man, but established by the one and only true God, by Almighty Father Jehovah, when you compare the two, the political right and the Bible, do they harmonize 100%? No, of course not. They don't harmonize 100%. But are they closer? And the answer is yes. Yes, yes, yes. You then look at the ideologies of the left. Their perspectives. Their so-called so morals, principles, and values. And you compare the left, their ideologies, with the Bible are they the same? Do they come as close? No. No. If this is the left and this is the Bible, okay, they are light years away from one another. They are as far from one another as the West is from the East. They are so far from each other that is why the political right is who you should vote for. Even if you don't like Trump, okay? If you don't like the man personally, you, you hate what he has said in the past, you think that he could have said things a little bit nicer maybe, or you just really dislike what he's done on Twitter, none of that should matter. 
absolutely none of that should matter. You should only look at the ideologies of the political right and the political left, compare the two, compare them both to the Bible, to God's word, and vote, support the one that is closer, closer to the Bible. And when you do that, the answer is obvious. The political right is closer, far closer than the political left. And my Father in heaven is good enough, wise enough, and great enough to steer the course of nations so that his word, his truth, would even be clearly seen in the political arena of nations. No question. You've heard of the sheep that will be found on the right hand of the king and the goats that will be found on the left hand of the king? That's biblical truth. And my father's great enough to steer the course of nations so that the political right, their principles, would be closer to the principles of those righteous sheep who are founded on the rock-solid truth of God's Word. And the principles, perspectives of the left would be far, far closer to the wicked goats who are not founded on the rock-solid truth of God's Word, but they are founded on the sandy foundation of man's Word and the heart of mankind. That heart that is desperately wicked that is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things. Oh, sure. You've got the left that they do what they say is right, but really all they're doing is what's right in their own eyes. They're following their own eyes. They're following their own hearts. They're following their own lusts just as Peter says in 2 Peter chapter 3. We need to support the political right. Not because they're perfect. Not because Donald Trump is perfect. Not because every single one of the individuals on the political right represents those righteous sheep that are going to be found on the right hand of the king. No, we're not looking at the individuals at all. We're only looking at the ideologies. And the ideologies of the right compared to the left, the right is so much closer to the word of God and the righteous sheep than the left. The left is right over there with the wicked goats. Make no mistake. Thank you so very much, my friends. Get out there and vote. Vote conservative. Vote for the red. Vote for Donald Trump, vote to support the ideologies of the right. God bless you all.